All right, guys, as we enter the offseason here for NFL 2023, I wanted to give everyone an update on the current NFL expansion talks. What is possibly the next city getting an expansion team? Could there be a team relocating in the coming years? There's an interesting idea that Goodell actually floated earlier this year about a European you know, wing or pod of its own. That's really interesting that I'm going to get into. As for right now, the quick thing I want to tackle, there's no relocation. There is no team in danger. The only team you could maybe make an argument for uh, would be the Jacksonville Jaguars, but they're apparently getting a new practice facility. The Jaguars are not an ideal location. They're a little bit smaller in terms of overall market. The major issue for Jacksonville that they're going to have to figure out within probably the next half decade is the stadium. You're going to need a new stadium. It's just not good enough. I believe it's older at this point, and we will see what they end up doing. But again, they're getting a new practice facility. You heard a few things a few years ago about the Bills and the Titans, but both of them are getting new stadiums starting in 2026. So obviously, they'll be staying in both Tennessee and Buffalo, respectively, and the only team I think you could maybe even make an argument for right now in terms of relocation is the Jacksonville Jaguars. We had all the crazy relocation in the you know last few years with San Diego, St. Louis losing teams, Oakland losing a team. Things are really winding down right now. And really, the only thing I can think of in the future, next four or five years, maybe Jacksonville loses a team. Now, when it comes to NFL expansion, right now it doesn't really seem to be at the front of the list for the NFL owners. They really don't want expansion right now. But if the NFL does decide to go the expansion route, I'm going to talk about the two top cities, in my opinion, located within North America that I would think could be expansion options for the NFL if they wanted to add on two more teams. And then we'll talk about the European situation, London possibly getting two teams, what they would need to actually do, how viable is a European-only NFL division, and would that really be the route they would need to go due to all the travel and and the things like that. It's very hard to accomplish something like that and I do think you would need your own pod you know in Europe your own division in Europe to make the games and make the travel easier the teams can just play each other but the first thing I wanted to talk about you look at obviously London England being a top choice that would have to revolve around Europe probably getting four teams at least two but just a single team located in you know the UK or in Europe it just it's not viable because the travel is just too much if you're playing eight road games the t- the London team would actually get such a significant competitive advantage because when you travel across the country from London to let's say New York or San Francisco you you know are gaining so many hours because London's ahead of the United States so it would be a lot easier travel on the players uh, you know from London the two main cities I want to talk about in North America Toronto it just makes too much sense an NFL team coming to Canada you've already got Toronto in terms of NBA with the Raptors the Blue Jays with the MLB Canada has you know a few different NHL teams so Toronto seems like a 1A type option if the NFL wanted to expand and stay in North America and then the other city maybe a little bit smaller Salt Lake City Utah there is a you know a lot of support for the University of Utah football team there I think Salt Lake City they've got the Jazz they could very easily have an NFL team and kind of be comparable in terms of overall culture vibe to Buffalo probably selling out every game for the first few years there would be so much demand those are two cities within North America I could see them going when it comes to expanding onto Europe it says 
It seems like the NFL is looking at multiple teams for expansion. Goodell already dropped that they are looking at four teams in Europe as a part of a massive NFL expansion. They could bring a couple of North American teams in as well, whether that is domestically or internationally. The more teams there are, the more complicated this gets. If it is just a Europe expansion, those four teams would go into one division that comes with its own challenges. Of course, the idea behind the whole European division, number one, there's a ton of demand in Europe for an NFL team. And you wouldn't even have to construct new stadiums. They've got the soccer stadiums that can be, you don't even have to convert them. They're they're basically soccer slash NFL. It, it's so easy to do, you know, and, and, and that just seems like a major financial hurdle that wouldn't have to be overcome. We're seeing the NFL have to build these new stadiums. They cost $1.5, $2 billion. You've already got, they're building state-of-the-art soccer stadiums every other year, it seems like, in Europe. You've you've got a new one that's going up, I think, in Germany. And that's one of the hurdles that you wouldn't have to cross. And then the idea, this, this reminds me really of when you look at college football and the Big Ten expansion adding on the two Pac-12 schools and possibly creating a West Wing. Right now, you look at the Big Ten, there's going to be big travel problems for USC and UCLA traveling across country. If you add two more teams or even four more teams from the West Coast, the travel issues get not completely resolved, but they get mitigated because you would have those teams facing each other. Like, let's say Oregon joins the Big Ten. You would have Oregon at UCLA. It's not a far trip from Eugene to, you know, California. So that's the idea. If you do bring in European teams, I'm, I, I, it would have to be at least two, but I think the only viable way is if you probably bring in four. The idea that you're going to bring in one London-based franchise, it's like, you know, people were saying the Jaguars are moving to London, they're going to be the London Jaguars. The travel would be too ridiculously hard. You'd be changing seven-hour time zones minimum every every other week. I mean, I guess you could do it where... You know, the, the the team in London could have three straight home games, three straight away games, then have a bye week, then have three more home games, and then three. But it's just, it, it's an artificial schedule. That's not how the NFL was designed. Normally, they'll stagger it. You'll get two home games. You'll get one road game. You'll get one home game. You'll get three road games. You'll get two. You, so it's just the only way you could really do a, a, a European team in the NFL is if you do a pod and then all those teams could face each other and it could mitigate it to where you could have one European team face another and, and then you know that European team that was hosting goes on the road for three weeks in the States, then they come back home, they face two other European teams that are part of the pod, then they get a bye week, then they go, you know, then they host. It, it, it's just easier in terms of travel. Like, that's the huge hurdle the NFL would face. Uh, but this is a major challenge for the NFL. It says, NFL floats wild idea of possibly putting four teams in Europe as part of major international expansion. That article happening on October 11th of this past year. Roger Goodell saying that's part of what we're doing. We're trying to sort of see, could you have multiple locations in Europe where you could have NFL franchises because it would be easier as a division. Again, it's the same idea of the Big Ten West Wing. You put more teams, even if they're so far away, if you get a group of teams and pot them together, they face each other. It would mitigate traveling to the states back and forth. And there's actually like a, a, a some other interesting stuff about possibly two teams being both based out of London. So you would have two teams in London and you'd get a team probably in Frankfurt, Germany, and then maybe one other. I know in, in, in Madden, you can do the relocation and Dublin, Ireland is is, is an option. So, so maybe they would consider uh, Ireland as well. The NFL just had its first game in Germany. So you can see they're already starting to expand. NFL can easily have London franchise 
as X player tips the league for expansion. So you've got players talking about it. You've got different places. It says, will there ever be an NFL team in Europe? America's football popularity uh, could land an international NFL team. The NFL announced three cities in Germany. München also as well as Frankfurt are under consideration for expansion. And, you know, we'll end up seeing if anything comes of this. But right now, I think there's no relocation on the table from any team. Jacksonville is going to have to figure out something with their stadium. It is not up to NFL standards right now. I know they added the pool. They added a bunch of cabanas, things like that. But you're, you're talking about five to ten years. You're going to, you know, I know they got the new practice facility. I get it. But that's a team that has struggled, and and we saw Jacksonville go through a, a real bad dark age where everyone thought they were moving to London. You know, they draft Blake Bortles third overall. They're terrible. Then they kind of have this random crazy run. That Jalen Ramsey team, they made the AFC Championship, almost beat New England and Brady and Foxborough. And now they end up getting another number one overall pick. They have the Urban Meyer disaster, but they do make the playoffs and they do, it looks like they have a good future with a potential franchise young quarterback in Trevor Lawrence. So I, I would say Jacksonville would be the one team you might argue at relocation. If things go south, they at least need to start planning about stadium, stadium upgrades. And then when it comes to actual expansion, a lot of what I've heard looking through articles, the overall league officials don't want to don't want expansion right now. If it happens and if it's in the United States, I look at a Canadian a Canadian based city, probably Toronto, maybe Montreal, but probably Toronto. Or I look at maybe a, a Salt Lake City type. I also know that, you know, it, Austin, Texas is another one. I mean, Austin, Texas is blowing up right now. San Antonio, maybe you could argue as well. But I think it, like a team like Austin, they would get Jacksonville. Like if Jacksonville ever relocated, I could see them going to Austin. I don't think they would expand the league and add an Austin team. But I certainly think if they expanded the league by two teams and they wanted to stay in North America, you would be looking at uh, Canada, possibly Toronto, and then maybe Salt Lake City, Utah. Those would be my two one and two choices. Mexico City is not viable. The altitude is too ridiculous. Uh, I guess you could place it in another part of Mexico, but Mexico's got a, a number of issues right now, and I don't even know what city you would put it in. And then when it comes to actually Europe getting a team, it would probably have to be. That's why Goodell is talking about this. He's saying, oh, we need four teams. Yeah, you need four teams because the travel is so bad. And it was explained in an article. It's actually a major advantage for the teams in Europe traveling to the East Coast because they would actually gain several hours because of the, t the, because of the time difference. The teams traveling from the states going to Europe would lose, you know, a bunch of hours and it would really mess up their body clocks. So that is kind of the update right now going into the 2023 offseason on potential expansion or relocation within the NFL.